the Cuban Missile Crisis of 1962 was a critical event that brought the United States and the Soviet Union to the brink of nuclear war. This article provides an overview of the Cuban Missile Crisis, its origins, key events, and its far-reaching impact on international relations and nuclear diplomacy. Background and Context The Cuban Missile Crisis unfolded during the height of the Cold War, a period characterized by intense ideological rivalry between the United States and the Soviet Union. In 1959, Fidel Castro's revolution in Cuba led to the establishment of a communist regime, which created concerns for the United States about the spread of communism in its sphere of influence. Key Events and Escalation The Cuban Missile Crisis witnessed several crucial events. Soviet deployment of missiles in response to perceived threats from the United States and to enhance its strategic position. The Soviet Union secretly deployed nuclear missiles to Cuba in 1962. These missiles had the potential to reach major American cities, significantly altering the strategic balance. U.S. Discovery and Blockade In October 1962, U.S. surveillance flights discovered the presence of Soviet missiles in Cuba. President John F. Kennedy responded by announcing a naval blockade around Cuba to prevent further Soviet shipments and demanding the removal of the missiles. Tense diplomatic negotiations, the world held its breath as the United States and the Soviet Union engaged in intense diplomatic negotiations. Behind the scenes, Kennedy and Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev communicated through letters and secret channels, trying to find a peaceful resolution to the crisis. Avoiding nuclear war, the crisis reached its most critical point when the world teetered on the brink of nuclear war. Both sides considered military action, and tensions escalated as the world anxiously awaited the outcome. Ultimately, a peaceful resolution was reached through negotiations and compromises. Resolution and Lessons Learned the Cuban Missile Crisis resulted in a resolution and important lessons for both superpowers. Agreement and de-escalation The crisis concluded with an agreement known as the Quarantine or Eyeball-to-Eyeball -eyeball Agreement. The United States pledged not to invade Cuba, while the Soviet Union agreed to remove its missiles from Cuba under U.S. supervision. The crisis highlighted the importance of diplomatic negotiations in resolving conflicts. Nuclear Arms Control The Cuban Missile Crisis spurred efforts to establish better communication channels between the United States and the Soviet Union. It led to the creation of the Moscow-Washington Hotline, a direct communication link between the two countries' leaders to avoid potential misunderstandings and mitigate future crises. Nuclear Non-Proliferation The crisis emphasized the dangers of nuclear proliferation and the urgent need for arms control measures. It contributed to the signing of the Partial Nuclear Test Ban Treaty in 1963 and subsequent disarmament efforts. Impact on Cold War Dynamics The crisis marked a turning point in the Cold War as both the United States and the Soviet Union recognized the perils of nuclear confrontation and sought to establish more stable relations. It paved the way for subsequent diplomatic initiatives and detente between the two superpowers. Conclusion The Cuban Missile Crisis of 1962 was a pivotal moment in history, showcasing the perilous nature of the Cold War and the potential catastrophic consequences of nuclear conflict. The crisis served as a wake-up call for global leaders, underscoring the importance of diplomacy, arms control, and the pursuit of peaceful resolutions to international disputes. It remains a stark reminder of the dangers inherent in nuclear weapons and the necessity for continued efforts towards disarmament and non-proliferation.